let's see how pepper sponging is done which is a trolley procedure so on the top shelf you need vital science tree you need six flannel sheets a bowl of water to mix the tepid water you need a two jars one containing hot and one containing cold water the vital science tree is to check the patient's, patient's vital signs before and after the procedure then on the bottom shelf you need a receptacle for dirty linen and the, another receptacle for um, used water yes the final sheet is to perform the tepid sponging and then you need a new gown for the patient a bath blanket and a long macintosh long macintosh will be used to cover the bed to prevent wetting the bath blanket is to cover the long macintosh so the patient will not lie on the rubber material so you have to inform patient about the procedure you are about to perform and seek consent then you wash your hands the hand washing should be done appropriately because it's done in another procedure it has been shortened but it should be done appropriately you wash your hands you provide privacy you bring your items then you come and explain procedure proper by telling the patient what goes into the therapy sponge and why you are doing it and the what you expect patient to do to help the procedure be successful so when you explain everything then you inform patient that this procedure will require an assistant then you introduce assistant to the patient and assistant will join you and you do the procedure so well before starting you have to rule the sheets the long macintosh and the blankets like you are going to do changing bottom sheets from side to side then you put them on two chairs in a position yes in order of use like she's doing and you give the receptacles to the assistant the receptacle for dirty linen you give them to the assistant and you tell patient you have to check the vital signs we need the temperature especially as baseline data because we are going to do tepid sponging to reduce body temperature so when we have the temperature then we can compare after the procedure to know if it has reduced temperature is supposed to reduce for by one degree celsius at least after tepid sponging that's what we expect these days we use analgesia to reduce temperature but tepid sponge is also necessary because sometimes the analgesia may not be reducing the temperature the way we want and we cannot be giving overdose so you add tepid sponge into it yes so it's very necessary and it's a traditional method yes. sometimes patients cannot take a lot of medication so you check the temperature you record it in order to compare post the procedure after recording you, you sanitize your hands again and let the assistant also sanitize her hands that one too should be done appropriately please we'll, i will do a video on how to sanitize your hands and how to wash your hands the right way okay, so you have to remove the counterpane fold it nicely and put it down for reuse the counterpane is usually not dirty and then the top sheet we don't remove it because we cannot expose patient nakedness so with the help of the assistant you remove patient's gown yes while keeping patients covered even though you have provided privacy we don't expose patients under any circumstance yes patient's dignity should be maintained and the assistant will put the gown in the receptacle for dirty linen yes so you cross patient's hands and legs to facilitate turning the patient so you turn patient to one side protect the bed with the long macintosh the long macintosh is to prevent the the bed from getting wet it's a wet procedure we don't want to wet the whole bed at the bottom sheet so we have to protect the bed and patient cannot lie on the rubber material because of that we cover the long macintosh with the with the bath blanket so patient will lie on the bath blanket the bath blanket will get wet that's its purpose 
but the rubber underneath will prevent the bed from getting wet. Yes, then you roll the patient to the main performance site so that the assistant can finish laying the bed. So you cover the whole bed including the pillow. You can also choose to take the pillow off and finish the procedure before you bring the pillow. So when you cover everything with the rubber, you cover the rubber as well with the blanket so that patient's skin will not lie on the rubber material. Do your best not to expose the patient and always be mindful of your body mechanics. More appropriately, the bed should be adjusted to a height that will prevent, will allow you to work without bending. But you can see this bed cannot be adjusted. Yes. Now you mix your water, cold and warm. The water should be colder than um, lukewarm. Yes. So you mix it like this. You put all the sheets inside. You check the temperature with your elbow on the back of your hand. The appropriate thing is to use the lotion thermometer, but it's not available. You wet one towel or flannel sheet and clean patient's face with it to freshen patients up. Then there's the towels, you wet it, squeeze and put one on the forehead. Don't squeeze too much. I think this one she's squeezing too much. You need to put one in the armpit. That's how the armpit is. Because you can't expose the patient. So that's how you do it. You put some in the groin. So there's the groin, the space between the patient thighs and the genitalia. Then you turn patient to one side. Then you clean the back whilst leaving spots of water at the back. So this is how the patient's back look like. When I'm uploading a video on YouTube, people ask that they are not seeing what the nurse is doing. That's why I'm bringing this picture. Ideally, you cannot expose the patient's nakedness like that. So you do it like this. So the sheets, remember the friendly sheets are six. So one on the forehead, two in the armpits, the two armpits, two in the two groins. Then that will make five and one will be sponging the patient. So while doing it, you keep changing. This is the picture, a groin. Yes, the the space, the space, and this is the armpit. You put it there. Yes, so that it absorbs heat. Those places can keep a lot of heat and we want to reduce patient temperature. So while those ones are there, now you sponge the patient. The assistant will help. So in sponging, you clean the lower limbs, the trunk, and the upper limbs by leaving spots of water on the skin. I think this can, it cannot be seen here like that because the patient is covered. So you clean lower limbs, trunk, upper limbs, you leave spots of water. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. Then when the spots of water you are uh, there, you leave the patient for some few minutes about 15 minutes so that the the water you left will, will evaporate yes and that will cause heat to be to be removed from the skin so or from the body when you come back you dress patients up yes somebody alerted me that temperature should be checked before dressing patient up that's that's very um that's a very good point because if you if the temperature has not dropped you still have to do the sponging again yes what we are used to is that after the whole procedure you check to confirm that temperature has dropped because we expect that it should drop yes but i think that idea too is brilliant so you have to check that temperature has dropped before you finish everything and you removed all the protective items you use the long macintosh and the blankets you you put patients back in bed yes then you lay the bed nicely don't make it too tight so that patients will be comfortable you you can ask patients if she wants to sit down you can allow patients to sit down 
we cover the top sheet with the counterpane to beautify the page nicely like that yes that's how it's done always the top sheet covers the counterpane at the top end of the bed then you make my third corners at the bottom end so you thank patients for cooperation so now you do the you check the vital signs post the procedure to compare with the earlier one so the new recommendation now is that when you come back after the five minutes you can also check the vital signs so that if the temperature has not dropped well you continue with the sponging while um, the temperature drops further yes so this one she's checking after she has done with everything yes then you write it down as well go through the whole procedure of checking vital signs appropriately no shortcuts like this one so it means you can also check the blood pressure yes you document you thank the patient you tell patients about your findings you should always tell patients after the procedure so that patients will appreciate the fact that after checking the temperature has actually dropped yes it helps patients to comply next time you are coming to do procedure if you do procedure and then tell patients anything after procedure it is not right yes so you can find my videos on youtube at nursing at 247 the art is art at 247 or one way after everything document in the nurse's notes aside the vital science chat thank you